YouTube welcome back to the channel I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys we're going to be talking about the Samsung S95C today I believe this is the overall best gaming TV to date that you can buy we got it in 77 inch I just want to have a little bit of discussion about this TV it's phenomenal you guys can hate me today <laughs> and you can go back to loving me tomorrow but today I want to give some respects to uh you know this particular model tv we're going to get this going right after this intro all right guys so welcome back to the channel we're going to be uh running the benchmark for cyberpunk 2017 this is the latest update that they have available and uh to do that we're going to be doing it on the gaming pc um, this particular setup for the S95C and 77, I have a gaming PC for it. So this is really kind of my thing. I like to play on PC so that I can get the most out of it. Now, this case that I'm using is the Height Y60. Um, very fishbowl-like design. Um, the GPU is pretty much up on the glass. And it's an RTX 4090. So the strongest GPU that you can get from a graphical and frame rate perspective right now today for these TVs. This is going to be the best, absolute best combination for this TV if you're trying to maximize on performance. Uh, before we run a benchmark and get settings going, we're going to get the glass taken off of this and thing. Taking that off. So a pretty cool design. This thing just kind of, you know, runs and does its thing. And the fans don't really kick on until it really, really gets under low and it's taxed. But there's a deeper look into that. I'll card in my video where I reviewed this. I did this build at the same time I did Lady Hera's build too. We've got the same situation going with another 4090. It's not turned on right now. So that's going to be for the ultra wide monitor. We'll be making some re-review content on that soon. But uh, we're going to get this thing on the tripod, this camera. And we're going to go ahead and get right to the action. We are shooting this in 4K at 60 frames per second. So feel free to increase the resolution. Uh, we're going to look at some, some settings and uh, let the benchmark go. And then we'll just talk a little bit about my thoughts on this TV to date after having the A95L in the gaming space. All right, guys. So we're going to dive into some quick settings before we run this benchmark, just so that we can uh, just talk a little bit about uh, what to expect out of this. So this is Phantom Liberty. Um, let's get down to settings. That's what's really important here. I'm going to go on over to uh, graphics. So the preset that I've got is custom. This is built off of the highest option that you can get. What made it custom was me turning off, um, turning off uh, DLSS, which is Deep Learning Super Sample Ray Reconstruction. I turned that off. I don't like to play with any of the upscaling stuff on if I'm making a video. If I'm actually playing the game, hey, I'll use what I can to try to make sure that I'm having the most enjoyable experience. But in this case, um, it's just merely me trying to get the best graphical fidelity out of this small benchmark that's going to be ran here for this content. Yeah, so just kind of showing you everything. Shadow quality, everything is turned up on this thing. Um, I guess I missed there. Psycho, yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it. I'm not sure why that wouldn't have preset up. Ray tracing is up. Path tracing is on. Um, not messing around with the photo mode because again, this is for the sake of uh, doing this uh, benchmark for this particular video. Now, don't don't worry. I am going to uh, actually configure this system um, because currently in my living room, the PC that I have, I just made videos like I, I make this stuff in chronological order so it can all make sense. I only have a 3080 Ti, and I say only humbly because it's a great card, but. To try to run games the way that I like to, I just, I'm not able to. My 3090 recently had an HDMI port that went out and instead of me trying to, um, you know, get with someone to help me fix it, um, because I'm not into soldering and that type of stuff, I just, it's not in my, my skill set. I do the building, but I don't do that type of stuff. Um, I just went ahead and gifted it to my son. He had a 3080 Ti. He got the same ultra wide monitor that I showed you in the beginning of this video. For Lady Harris build and so I got him the 3090 so I took the 3080 Ti um, it's a good enough car for me to play the games I want to play now and for me to make the content I want to make out there but it's definitely not enough when I try to run a benchmark I was getting like seven to ten frames it was ridiculous but again everything being turned on 
Uh, in here, however, like I said, we got the 4090. So there is what we're looking at for the uh, resources that we're using for this video. And from the video side of things, obviously the monitor is one screen. Uh, just for this, I turned VSync on 144 maximum. FPS is set to uh, 144, as you can see. We got high dynamic range turned on, low latency turned on, and we are in the 4K space. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run this benchmark. I've, I've adjusted my HDR settings and everything. Let this load up. Turn on some audio. And we're just gonna let this run. Now the frame rate counter from the actual game is gonna run for this benchmark so I don't need to do anything with NVIDIA. Oh boy. We're ray tracing on Psycho. We're at 60 frames right now, right under it. I know for a fact without Psycho on, we are at like 100, 100 plus frames I was able to get. But man, this looks ridiculous. Absolutely crazy. Make sure you guys hang around for the after this so we'll do a conclusion. We'll talk about this. This looks so stunning. Whew, that peak brightness. The way that sun kicked in when that door opened. Look at the reflections of that, man. Sheesh. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Everything is so purposeful with ray tracing. I mean, it's very purposeful, very intentional. This game didn't start off great, but, you know, it's now to a point where it's kind of where it needs to be. And that's going to conclude that, right? So here's just a general breakdown of my system. We've got an i9-13900K, soon to be 14900K. We've got Windows 11 we're running, and we've got the MSI RTX 4090. Again, uh, I carted in the video earlier where I did the two builds. Uh, Lady Harris is pretty much 12900K, mine's 13900K, both i 9 so when the 14900K comes, I pretty much pass down the 13900 to her build, and then I'll take the 12900, and then I'll put it into my uh, living room uh, home theater PC. But that's just kind of a different topic for a different day for you PC guys. Let's wrap this thing up with a healthy conclusion. All right, guys. So there's a couple of things I'd like for us to just kind of be able to consider with um, the S95C. I love the TV. I really do. I was purposeful in buying the TV. And then as things shifted, as my expectations, my hopes, my desires shifted with the anticipation of the A95L, uh, which I do now have in 77 also, um, I moved that TV to where it needs to be. And I really believe that I'm going to be good with that TV for some time to come. OK, um, I think that I'll be good with the S95C long enough for us to get into a comfortable space where AK gaming is a real thing, which I don't really think it's there yet. It's just using deep learning super sample is cool, but I'm more on the native side of things. Um, and it's very much so similar to when guys are comparing streaming content to like Blu-ray physical media content, the higher bit rate, you can just tell when the content is real or how they just did like the AK shootout with value electronics just over the weekend. And on day two, they did the AK uh, TVs and, you know, the gentleman produced AK content, native content where it wasn't using 4K to upscale. Uh, I'm able to tell the difference when something's being upscaled, which is not a bad thing because, you know, we did make a video the other day talking about QHD on the S, I'm sorry, on the A95L. And I mean, similarly, so playing at a lower resolution isn't necessarily a bad thing. I digress. I'm probably going to sit with that TV until, you know, we get to like a 5090 or 6090 and AK TVs really become a thing for me to feel like, yeah, that's really what I would need to get into. At that point, I feel like, you know, we'll probably be looking at AK 120, 4K 240 on actual displays. Hopefully by that time, some manufacturer hoping this LG would be would have you know, manage to get a display port on the TV because I really feel that's lacking. The problems that I have with the S95C are intermittent blackouts. Like, to be honest with you, I'm recording this today. It's a Monday, Sunday night. Like last night, I was playing one of my homies in Street Fighter. We played probably 25 games 
and my my TV, my S95C blacked out on probably eight of those games. Not the whole match, but it happened intermittently, like as I'm playing. And I've got my TV set in 4K 144. It's got quality ports, quality cables, and it's just an issue. It's just an issue, man. The same issue exists with S90C also. So, you know, for those of you that might try to, you know, click reference HD TV tests, testing, you know, 48 gigs versus 40 gigs, that quite isn't the issue. There's something going on within some kind of circuitry with those televisions because I've experienced it with both, again, S90C and S95C. Remember, guys, I had the 90C in that room right next to the G3 before I decided to go all 77 inch and then I just played musical chairs with the other TVs. Again, I digress. Um, it's a great TV. It's the best gaming TV that you can get right now. Ultimately, what it comes down to is this. A95L, S95C, both QD Generation 2 panels from you know Samsung displays. And each company has their own respected drivers or processors within them to clean up the imagery the way that it does. Samsung is able to produce, you're able to dial in a certain level of color detail and saturation with the Samsung that looks right for the Samsung. And my opinion, just my opinion as a wholesome consumer, when you dial those exact same settings in with the Sony, they don't look right. And equally so, Sony, in my opinion, and in my findings of owning both of these TVs and many, many years of doing this, you dial in that warm, you know, more muted, natural looking, I would call it cinematic. I'll just use the word cinematic on the Sony. You try to replicate that on a Samsung. Yeah, it can do it, but it's not really where it shines. So they, they all have these different levels, right, of detail that you really should be trying to achieve. And they both are capable of doing like everything, right? So, I mean, you know, I know that the big discussion, because now that the A95L is available, you're going to see more YouTubers with it. You're going to see more YouTubers comparing it with other TVs. Um, but I'm just glad I was able to create the kind of content that I've created so far and this kind of content, because, you know, I buy my stuff more on the I'm sticking around with it side of things, not just to review it. And those are just my findings. Let me know what you thought of this video. When you watched the Cyberpunk, did you think it was cool? Are you enjoying the 4K at 60 frames per second um, uploads now? We're trying to adjust things with the quality of the channel. We're trying to get acclimated with the camera. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace, God bless. And as always, say, man, max love.